So Bernard Spark Labs is unique as it's, it's the only incubator for Korean companies wishing to take their business globally. So could you tell us a little bit more about the story behind the creation of Spark Labs? Um, how did you ex obtain such a high level advisory board um, and <clears throat> how you're able to provide benefits for startups? Sure. Um, it started at, actually, it was my friend Hanju who co-founded a top five global hosting company called Hostway. And uh, that company was founded in Chicago, but then about three years ago, he started Hostway Korea, built it to a pretty good business. Um, and he approached me in starting this uh, startup accelerator. And at first I was hesitant, but then, you know, I just said, you know, I, I think I could help out as long as my other friend, Jimmy Kim, who I did my first two startups with, and he was also CFO of Nexon, which is the largest gaming company in Korea. I said, hey, if we get Jimmy on board and get, have full-time staff, then you know, I'll do it with you. And then it just snowballed. Um, you know, definitely like with you know, anything in business, it's all about relationships. So you know, I just quickly asked uh, you know, some friends in Silicon Valley, like I play poker with like, the Guitar Hero founders, and uh, David Lee SV Angel is a good at SV Angel, which is the, probably the most influential angel fund in Silicon Valley. I asked him to be a mentor, and then within three weeks, we had 40 world-class mentors. Wow. And then uh, my friend Jimmy's like, oh, you know, hey, you should ask some of like, the big names you know. So I contacted uh, Vince Cerf, who's uh, one of the fathers of the internet. So he said he agreed to be a, you know, a high-level advisor, just lending his name and advice. Mm -hmm. And then we got Mark Cuban, and mm -hmm. then we got Ray Ozzy, who was... Uh, most recently, uh, chief software architect at Microsoft. Microsoft yeah. And he's the one that replaced basically Bill Gates. Uh, and then we got Tom Peters, uh, who wrote In Search of Ex Excellence. And it just snowballed from there. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of momentum and buzz. And then uh, by the time of our first class, we had, you know, the interest was amazing. So it was an excellent first year. That's great. You told me a little bit about the model um, for Spark Labs and that you look to the Israeli model for, for the accelerator. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about that? <clears throat> um, well, the basic model is a cookie cutter model of accelerators in the US, such as Y Combinator, which is the best known. And then there's Techstars. So mm -hmm. the program itself is pretty standard where it's three months, mentor driven, um, we invest 25,000 in, into each company for 6% or less. Uh, but in terms of like the long view, we do follow the Israeli model because we think it's Israel and Korea are very similar. You know, both are, I think, highest uh, per capita of PhDs in the world. Um, very good, yeah. strong engineering base. So what a lot of Israeli startups have done successfully is sort of initially built their company in Israel then transplanted to Silicon Valley, and then by the time of their like Series A, Series B uh, venture financing round, they bring in uh, a local CEO to sort of help take it to the next level. So we see Korea in the same way because Korea is very, has a very strong engineering base and also design talent, which is very important nowadays. And uh, we see it in the same way as for our startups to take the next level if they want to enter the U.S then we would help them also find that next level CEO. In, in terms of companies that we look at, um, we look either for companies that are aware of how to sort of cater their product to other markets, whether it's the US, Japan, or China, mm -hmm. or we look actually for companies that know how to develop what we would call culturally neutral products. Mm -hmm. you know, that could really go global right away, and it's not sort of intertwined with um, certain cultural nuances, let's say within Korea. Mm -hmm.